Hey, good morning, gang, and welcome to a bald eagle fishing adventure. Boy, it's a beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning out here. Not a cloud or any fog. It's just gorgeous. Um, anyways, yeah, end of September, and it's fall, and I am going to be going after some big fish today. So the plan is, is first down, go down to Elephant, pick up some nice rockfish down there, and then uh, I'm going to swing uh, over to uh, McClure's or not McClure's actually Kehoe area and start at Kehoe and work my way up to Abbott's Lagoon uh, along 10 mile beach there for some hopefully big, big salmon. So as I always say, gang, hang 10 with me. Let's see what we put on this boat today. All right. I'm looking forward to being with you guys. It's going to be fun. See you out at the fishing grounds, gang. Bye. at the fishing grounds for some rockfish. We're going to see what we can put on board. So anyways, let's get started. Oh, wow, what a lovely morning. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful out here. It's not super gla flat glass, but it's, it's pretty nice. Not a breath of wind, though. It's beautiful. It's just supposed to get nicer and nicer throughout the day. So, hey guys, I wanted to show you, I mean, I, I use everything out here for rockfish, jigs, and uh, I've talked about that on some of my other fishing uh, uh, videos that I've done uh, from Pitbull Tackle. Um, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> for such a simple rig, so I get the shrimp flies, these orange ones at uh, Outdoor Pro Shop, and I mean, relatively inexpensive for a big package of them for like a couple of bucks. Uh, I think it was like three, four dollars, whatever it was. It wasn't very much. And uh, they're orange, kind of orange with a little bit of like green iridescent little, you know, fly things to them. So anyways, and then the leader, I actually buy these leaders uh, um, online on Amazon. And uh, anyways, uh, yeah, they come like all pre-set up with all the swivels and the little... Uh, you know, clasp, and then you just put your shrimp flies on there, and you're only allowed two shrimp flies when you're fishing for cod. So, with an eight ounce weight out here, and I mean, I load up on rockfish big time. I even hook some lings with this. So, anyways, pretty nice little setup. Don, you love squid. Come on, come on now. There we go. Oh yeah. Now we'll see if we can get a, another one to hop on. There we go. guys yeah baby yeah 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 boy get you some that's what we're talking about yeah you like that squid don't you uh-huh i kind of figured i kind of figured you might see see say told you Oh yeah. 
Oh, little sand dab. That's pretty good. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to leave that sand dab on. Draw nine real tight. is a red. Wow. Look at that. Wow. That is a huge vermilion. He went after that sand dab like nobody's business. Look at that, guys. Wow, that is a beauty. Holy moly. That is a nice fish. Hot damn. Yeah, baby. Nice copper. <laughs> Went after that sand dab again. Hey guys, Woo! so uh, we're back here at the dock, and uh, no salmon today, unfortunately. Never even had a bite, and I gave it a good couple, three hours of trolling. Only heard of a couple salmon caught. Mm, that's okay. You know, it's all good. Anyways, just wanted to um, go over real quick. Uh, so one of the things I'm going to do today is I have a really nice vermilion. We're going to put that on the scale, and uh, but um, one of the things I wanted to demonstrate, I picked up one of these Bubba electric knives. It's the Electric Knife Pro, Bubba Pro, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate it. I've never used one before, and I thought it would be kind of cool to kind of see uh, how this thing works because, man, some of these big vermilions, pretty hard to go through the bone sometimes. Anyways, uh, this thing's supposed to work genius. We'll find out if that's the case. Anyways, guys, so uh, let's get started with so, it, all right? Yeah, this is the this is the Bubba Electric Pro Knife, and uh, this is the nice case it comes in. And uh, let's open this thing up real quick here. Uh, whoop, one of the knives came out of here. Actually, this is the one we're going to be using today. This is a 9-inch stiff blade, and I'm going to use this to go through the um, to go through that those bones on the uh, vermilion. So, anyways, we'll give this a shot. I'm just going to leave that out, and uh, this is the handle. These are they give you two uh, lithium batteries. So, let's uh, get this out. And uh, bear with me because this is the first time I've ever used this thing. So uh, I believe this light. No. Let's see here. Well, we'll get this here in a minute. <laughs> there we go. Click. All right. Even a big dummy like me can figure it out. All right. Let's give it a little. Yep, there it is. It's got a little safety thing on here, so let's click that in place so we don't uh, start this by accident. All right, this got a little sheath on here, so we'll get this in place here. So it goes right inside that area there. Locks in. That's it. And the sheath comes off of here. We'll leave that right there. And... Uh, well, that was simple enough. So let's put the safety back on until we're ready. So I'm going to set that right here. 
And I want to put the scale on this thing because this is a really nice vermilion. I want to see what the weight is on this. Yeah, it's a really nice vermilion. I remember get, getting these at Cordell Banks. So, yeah, nice fish. All right. I'm thinking probably about five pounds. It's maybe lost a half pound or so being out of the water. So we'll see here in a minute. Okay. How about that? Well, right around 5.2. Yeah, 5.2 pounds. So that's a pretty nice fish. All right, guys. Well, here we go. Let's see how this works. Wow, I'll tell you what guys, I mean went right through that stuff beautifully. This is, this is well worth the money, it was 169 bucks on, on Amazon and I mean it just, it just buzzed right through that. I'm still learning a little bit with it but wow, what a great job, I mean that's a beautiful filet. And normally these reds are they're very tough. <laughs> if any of you have ever had to fillet one of these, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's beautiful. Nice. I mean, that is, I mean, that took it, I mean, that is, that is beautiful. I mean, right, right along the, the, the bones, cut through the rib section there. I mean, beautiful. Actually, this one skinned it right off the, right off the uh, bones. How beautiful. I'm very pleased with it. What a what a great tool. So so far I'm sold with this. All right guys. So let's uh let's go ahead and get started with this. So this is um this is from that big red that I filleted and I mean again you can see how nice it just took the meat right off the bone, cut right through these big old pin bones here with no problem at all. Now I want to see how it skins it. Um but I wanted to show you real quick. Um uh, yeah, so here's here right here is the little you push this little button and you can still see it's like two and a half bars. So but uh, all three of those lights are still lit up. So which is pretty pretty impressive. Anyways, so let's go ahead and do this. Pretty nice. I mean, I don't see any chewed up meat 
took it nice and right off the skin. I like that. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm so far I'm really, really impressed with this knife. So. clean. Yeah. Yeah, I have to say that's, man, that's, that's really clean. I have to say really, really Anyways, clean. Um, just wanted to go over real quick with you. Um, I know I just talked about the, uh, taking the skin off with the Bubba blade, the Bubba pro and, um, it works phenomenal doing that. But I did notice um, trying to get into the rib cage area here, um, not as precise as I would like. And, and this is what I'm talking about right here, the removal of the, of the rib bones. So um, what I found is my fillet knife is still really great for that. And so in my personal opinion, this is an incredible knife. Um, for doing the initial filleting of the fish. I mean, I, it's worth every penny as far as I'm concerned. Um, but when it comes to uh, then taking the skin off, and especially since you have to already remove the rib cage area, this is still works really well. So I just wanted to give you my honest opinion. Um, like I said, the Bubba Pro works great for removing the skin. There's nothing wrong with it. But as far as time goes, and that's really what this is, they're both about the same. Um, and since I would have to switch back anyways to take the uh, rib cage out, it's just, it's just, for me, I'm just using this. And so I wanted to be really honest with you guys about the Bubba Pro. Again, this is my go-to knife when I'm out on the boat and I'm filleting the fish. It cuts like butter, it's awesome. Um, but the precision stuff for when I'm taking the skin off and removing the rib cage, it's going to be my standard fillet knife. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Wow, what a great day it was, gang. Uh, awesome day out there fishing. Uh, flat, calm conditions, little wind. It was absolutely beautiful. And, uh, yeah, we I ended up getting uh, my 10 rockfish, went after salmon for two or three hours. And, unfortunately, uh, it just... Uh, couldn't find one that wanted to bite. Uh, it was pretty quiet. I uh, did hear of a couple fish taken, but that was about it. Uh, but, you know, they come in waves, and so you just kind of got to be there when they do. And uh, as soon as we have nice weather again, I'll be out. Um, hopefully, Michelle and I will be out here tomorrow doing some rockfish and some salmon again. And we'll see what happens tomorrow. Always a new day. Anyways, always a pleasure, gang. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you like the show, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support you give to my wife and I. Love all of you, and I'll see you on the next Bald Eagle Fishing Adventures. Take care, gang. Bye.